All right, what is going on, everybody? Willis here. We're back with another Helldivers 2 video. We've just received our next major order. And in this video, we're going to be going over it as well as some leaks, some new weapon customization, which could be coming to the game very, very soon as well. We are giving away copies of the game. If you'd like to win a copy, just leave a like on this video, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed with those bell notifications turned on. Now, let's jump into the video. So earlier, it actually looks like we failed the previous um, major order. So I'm not entirely sure what's happening with this new one. I'll go into that later in the video. But basically, there was this message that popped up saying um, the major order, I guess, succeeded, but we didn't succeed. So it actually says um, Fury Prime and Zargon Prime have been liberated and millions of metric tons of highly valuable terminated biomass is ready for recovery. The terminated population has been reduced to more natural levels resulting in greater well-being for the aliens themselves um as well there was this another message that said major order failed it said though many terminates have been mercifully culled the helldivers were unable to penetrate as far as the quarantine zone as ordered the expansion of the expansion of our citizens to new plants will be reduced in line with the reduction of the expected element 710 to be produced further procreation applications will be denied until further notice now, if you actually go into the game, the, the next weekly order is already up, basically. And yeah, it basically says here on the right that the next major order is, yeah, this one here, the Civilian Biomass Collection. Um, the BCTs are gathering and processing in it terminates on liberated bug planets. The Helldivers must maintain our control of these worlds until the operations are complete. So it looks like we have fully liberated Fori Prime, uh, Astanu. Um, we're getting close on Crimsica, and we need to do Hellmire as well. So everybody needs to get the hell off Oshan and go to Hellmire. So yeah, tell everybody you know to just go to Hellmire and Crimsica. And yeah, we have three days to do this. I'm pretty sure we're going to do it because two of these, I guess, planets are already liberated. So yeah, a little bit of like an easier major order for us. So up next, there was some leaked more gameplay of the Truth Whisperer, which is the first ever suppressed weapon to come to Helldivers. This weapon is extremely quiet and I feel like it's going to be very, very good at just picking off enemies and not alerting patrols, or even just killing the small, I guess, bug enemy that, like, alerts, um, you like, the whole bug hive. Um, it seems to kill the bile spewers pretty quick as well with headshots, so yeah, that could be something to look forward to. There was also a leaked, I guess, model for the dark fluid extractor, um, for the Illumina, so this actually has something to do with the Illumina, and I'm assuming... It's used to obviously extract this thing called the dark fluid. I remember this was mentioned before. I'm not entirely sure what the dark fluid is, but I know it's going to be something to do with one of the upcoming major orders or one of the major orders we're going to be seeing when the Illumina is actually out. But yeah, this thing looks crazy. And whatever the dark fluid is for anyone that plays Helldivers 1, I would love to know. So for those of you who are not aware, we now have these things in the game called Shrieker Nests. And a lot of the, I guess, modders are testing the new stratagems on these Shrieker Nests to see what the most, I guess, uh, best way to kill them is. Someone here actually uses the laser guided missile silo. And it seems to do a pretty decent job at destroying it, but I'm pretty sure you get a free hell bomb with the Shrieker Nest. So, yeah. They also tried using the Emancipator mech, which is the auto cannon mech, and I'm pretty sure it's doing damage. So, this could be a valuable uh, strategy to use is the Emancipator mech. Now, if you're not aware, the Emancipator mech has basically two um, auto cannons on each side. I'm pretty sure they're stronger than the normal auto cannons because you can kill like Bile Titans really, really quick with them. Now, here's something I really wanted to go over was the full weapon customization leak. So I mentioned this in my last video. Um, weapons can freely change ammunition types, magazine sizes, internal accessories, muzzle, scope, sling, uh, painting, etc. So there was this huge leak that came out that basically shows off all these weapon attachments. And uh, Mouse was saying that basically this can't have been something that was scrapped from the game just purely because the CEO himself has basically confirmed that this stuff was obviously tested. So it could be coming sooner than we think. As well, it shows off all of these, I guess, attachments for like the pistol, the SMG, the 9 by 20 millimeter. Um, the left wheel, not really sure what that is. The rifle, 
the penetrator. You've got all these different like ammo types down here. You've got like rocket attachments, EMP rounds, high speed rounds, plasma rounds. And then for the rifle, you've got stuff like the drum mag, the ammo belt box, the large ammunition belt box. And then some of the attachments for the SMG, you've got the ergonomic extended magazine, the quick reload extended magazine, um, play the drum, which I'm assuming is like a drum mag for the SMG. If we get like a drum mag for um, the sidearm SMG that everyone uses, I think this is going to be the greatest day in Helldivers. Um, so the shotgun attachments, you've got ergonomic extended magazine. You've got a roller. Not sure what that is. The quick change extended magazine for the rifle attachments. We've got the sword short attachment which I'm assuming makes the barrel shorter. Uh, you've got the expand, which looks like it makes the barrel longer. You've got the ergonomic extended magazine. You've got the quick change uh, standard magazine. And for the pistol attachment, you've got the quick change magazine, the ergonomic standard magazine. So for this plasma thing, you've got the standard uh, media tank. You've got the extended media tank, um, the 5.5 millimeter. You've got flash hiders, suppressors, compensators, brakes. 8mm, you got the flash hider suppressor. So we're actually going to be able to get a suppressor attachment for the pistols. Um, the 9mm, you've got suppressors and compensators. The 12mm, you've got compensators. You've got this uh, like laser attachments that do like a standard prism, uh, a focusing prism, a wide prism. I'm assuming this is for the laser rocket where you could change the focusing of the actual laser itself. So maybe the wide, that's like a wide beam. Obviously, the focus focuses a bit more for damage than the standard one. You've got like sniper scopes, uh, the Morgan Sun holographic sights, laser sights, vertical grips, half grips, beveled foregrips and laser mounts. A ton of new stuff and I'm super excited. Um, but once again, guys, we are giving away copies of the game. If you'd like to win a copy, just leave a like on this video, leave a comment, and make sure you are subscribed. I'm announcing some winners over in my Discord over the next few days, so make sure you're in there as well being active. With that being said, guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace.